All right, first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakadash. Double honors to elders of GMS, and shout out to the whole elect, the brothers out there on the highways and byways, pushing the truth from righteousness and sincerity. And I'm going to jump right into it. The nations are being stirred up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, which is Middle Earth, all right? They're going to be stirred up for judgment for what they've done to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai's people. Okay, not only that, they also robbed Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, they took a lot of his gold, his artifacts. Okay, there's something called the Ark of Titus, where the heathen were celebrating, stealing from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Well, these things happened thousands of years ago, but to Yahweh, it was just like yesterday. Okay, time moves differently in the heavenly realm than the earthly realm. Okay, a thousand years to us is one day to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so what's going on now in the earth is. Wars are intensifying because it's that season, okay? Um, ultimately, we're going to roll into World War Three or the Third World, but it won't climax until the Karagma or the Mark is on the scene, okay? The Mark has to be implemented. That's a major, major prophecy, all right? So as soon as that Mark is implemented and a lot of us become martyrs, okay, all hell is going to break loose on this earth like you've never seen it before. All right. And it's already beginning to start. Okay. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to cut their time short. So the time that they think they have uh, uh, to execute their NWO plan, they really don't have. Okay. So they're scrambling now. Okay. NATO was fighting against each other. All right. The uh, uh, Palestinians just let off a serious assault into the land of Israel. Okay, shooting over a thousand rockets, killing 70 plus people and kidnapping people. All right. So what do you think the Israelis going to do? They're going to retaliate like never before. Okay. And when they retaliate, man, it's, it's massive. Okay. Then you have Russia and Ukraine fighting on that side in which NATO just recently got involved and bombed a Russian submarine. Okay. So that's going to pull Babylon in. All right. That's all. Uh, and the Israeli war is going to pull Babylon in as well because they're tied, okay? So these wars that's popping off is going to pull in other nations. And soon, Asia will be pulled in, all right? Asia is going to be pulled into this war. They're all going to be pulled in for judgment. They don't realize it right now. There's going to come a point in time where they're going to stop fighting amongst each other and realize what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is doing, okay? All of this is prophecy, this is part of Yahweh's plan. That NWO plan is part of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's plan. That Karagma, that mark, that's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's mark. Okay? This is, we're living in a time of separation. The sheep from the goats, or the wheat from the tares, so to speak. Okay? This is Joel chapter 3 and verse 1. For behold, in those days and in at that time, when I shall bring again the capped city of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people. Is that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai begging them? No. And for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. So who got scattered among the nations? What group of people got scattered among the nations? The so-called African-Americans. Okay. We were scattered to the four corners of the earth during the time of slavery. All right. And they have cast lots for my people. OK, so the nations uh, uh, pretty much enslaved us, man. OK, some of us went to Ishmael. A lot of us went to Esau. OK, Asia. All right. There's documented records on this, man. They sold us and was trading us as commodities and goods. All right. And it says have given a boy for a harlot. So they was turning our young men out. OK, turning them into sodomites. And sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidane, and all the coast of Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children of Salakia, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. 
The Grecians is another word for Esau, another family for Esau. All right. That ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them into the Sabians, so people fall off. For the Lord hath spoken it. So what goes around comes around. You sold the children of Israel into slavery. You shall go into slavery now. This is what's happening, man. The curses are being poured out upon the heathen nations. They don't understand what's going on, okay? They think, Ishmael think he's the chosen, okay? Esau think he's the chosen. No. The so-called African-American, Latino, and Native Americans are the children of Israel, okay? They are the chosen, the 12 tribes, okay? And what's happening is, okay, because the men of the Lord have arisen and woken up out of their sleep, out of their slumber. And when I say that, I mean that we were in a dead state for hundreds of years because of the heathen. Okay, they broke us. They stripped our heritage away from us, made us speak English and different tongues, Spanish and, and different uh, uh, languages of that nature. Okay, and totally erased our heritage and our history. But now we're getting it back and we're standing on our feet as watchmen. And because we're prophesying and preaching, the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is in full gear now. Okay, the word activated. Okay, these prophecies, man. And it's popping off like popcorn. One after another. Pestilences. Okay, civil unrest. Wars. Okay, rumors of wars. Earthquakes in various places. Okay. Just in Turkey was hundreds of people that just died in an earthquake. And somewhere else as well. Okay. So all the signs are here. And the infrastructure to the Karagma is in place. Okay. That's another key indicator of where we are in time. Okay. It's just like when you know that uh, a spring is coming. You see the buds on the trees. Okay. Starting to come forth. You know spring is coming. Right. You know a new season is coming in. So just when these events pop off, we know that it's the ushering in of our kingdom. It's coming. But to get there, we got to go through much lamentation, woe, and destruction. All right? But the us that's in the know, okay, we rejoice when we see these things, knowing that our kingdom is next and that these kingdoms must fall. And when Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, comes back, he's going to snatch the crowns of all these kingdoms that's on the earth. All right? It's not going to be uh, uh, Esau have a little peace, uh, uh, Ishmael have a little peace, Ham have a little peace. Oh, there's it, 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 a heavy judgment coming for Ham too. Ham always been our enemy, man. Okay? I just read a report recently that uh, the Kenyan military is deployed in uh, Haiti, where our brothers the Levites are. Okay? And Ham has always fought against us, man. Okay? It's a heavy judgment coming to Ham too. Esau must have said something to Ham like, hey, man, we had an agreement, you know, to take these people down together. And when you read Psalms 83, it tells you all the nations that were in cahoots, okay, with our uh, destruction. And Ham was one of them, man. We're going to get you Hamites too, man, okay, for what you've done unto our people. Um, this is Psalms 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silent, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. But look. Thy enemies make a tumult, which is an agreement. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what they did. They cut us off. But we're revived. Okay. A small remnant of us have risen. Right. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab. Okay, Edom is number one. There you go, Ishmael. Okay, so it's no coincidence that these two are fighting like cats and dogs right now. See, their power was in consolidation against us. That was their strength. But now everybody got guns pointed at each other. Okay, and Yahweh was doing this. Okay, then it says of Moab and Hagarines, Jabal and Ammon, 
and Amalek, the Philistines, which are the Hamites, with the inhabitants of Tari, Asha also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. It's a lot. All right? That is more. If you read on. But everybody's about to get it right now. Everybody's about to get it. All these nations, you know. Yemen has fell. Syria has fell. Libya has fell. Okay. Uh, 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 Iraq has fell. Okay. Uh, uh, um, Gaza's on the point of, of falling. Okay. All these nations are falling one by one. They're falling. Okay. And, and to the point where. You know, the heathen are just going to be displaced, running all over the place. All right. And when this earth is weak, all right, Yahweh Shai is going to enter this earth when this earth is weak and take all dominion and rulership. All right. But, but, but we must wait for this karagma to come. This is the, that's going to be the major sign. Okay. And already inflation is in. You go to the grocery store, the prices on goods is through the roof. The BRICS, which is a coalition of the other nations against Babylon, have dropped in the dollar, okay? So it's only a matter of time before the dollar is reduced to nothing. And once that happens, the karagma is right on the scene. The infrastructure is already in place. When you go into a lot of these stores and stuff like that, there's not a lot of cashiers, okay? Uh, um, even when you go into a lot of these facilities and buildings, they have uh, um, places where you can scan your hand to get into the building and all that. All right, so the infrastructure is in place. All right, they're going to crash the system, which the system is already crashing. All right, and all hell is going to break loose. All right, then we're going to see who's down with the most high. Okay, because if you're down with the most high, you and you're not going to be able to operate in the system freely because you won't be able to buy or sell. Okay, without the karagma. All right, you won't be able to live unless you know how to survive off the grid. All right. So, in due time, you know, this this third uh, a war, World War III, will reach its climax. We're already in it right now, but it's going to intensify greatly once this money system change over to digital currency. And that's the time that we in. Praise the Lord for that. All right? So, we hear Akim, stay prayed up. Get your souls right. Ask your how about you shot for forgiveness for whatever you're dealing with. We all dealing with something because we're in the flesh. Okay, these corruptible bodies, they're designed to go off. All right, so we have to continue to pray and ask the Lord for repentance, man. Okay, and ask him for his mercy. All right. And hey, the Lord has sprung into action for us, man. We need to give him all praises, honor, and glory, man. So I hope this was edifying. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakwadash. Shalom, Makim, Shalom.